Hey guys, anybody recognize this snake? You guessed it. It's a green snake. Technically, it's called a rough green snake. Now, I can't tell you how many stories there's been about, oh, I saw a green snake here or there. And then they describe it and it's big around as a garden hose. And I think to myself, are you sure it wasn't a garden hose? In Florida, there's about four different species of snakes that you could technically call green. This one here, the rough green snake, is the most notably green. But there's also the garter snake, which is a beautiful checkerboard pattern. Or the ribbon snake, which is like the garter snake and closely related. However, it has more prominent line on its back. Or the green water snake. The green water snake is closely related to both the brown water snake and the banded water snake. And lastly, one that we've talked about before, the legless lizard is also a green color. Color is one of the ways we describe our snake species. It helps us separate between species. However, often many times the color of a snake can be misleading. For instance, red on black, friend of Jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow. That's how we distinguish between the scarlet king snake and the coral snake. Many people's expectations of a snake are that it's green, so therefore if they see something like, let's say, this yellow rat snake, they instantly assume the snake was green. And they just tell people, I saw a green snake. Snakes come in many different colors. There's green ones, yellow ones, orange ones, red ones, brown ones, black ones, and sometimes through either genetic mutation or adaptation, white ones. Now we've covered the green ones, let's go into some of the yellow ones, like the yellow rat snake or the corn snake. Technically those are both rat snakes. Also the crown snake and pine wood snake, which are both semi-subterranean species and are very small. It's easy to classify snakes by color, however, in reality most snakes have multiple colors and it's more of a pattern than a color. So once you can understand their patterns, you can better identify the snakes. Some of the patterns include stripes, checkerboards, splotching, or saddles, diamonds, and as far as stripes go, they can be both vertical or horizontal. For instance, the ribbon snake would have vertical stripes, and the scarlet king snake milk snake and coral snake all have horizontal stripes as well as the sea snake has horizontal stripes. With a combination of the snake's color and the snake's pattern as well as other traits like if it has a rattle or a diamond head can help you identify the snake and make you safer when dealing with snakes. Let's not forget there's 50 snake species here in Florida. This is part three of a seven part video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe the next video is going to be talking strictly about venomous snakes here in Florida. So you can make sure you tune into that one. And then you can pretty much rule out any venomous snakes. And you'll know for sure which ones are harmful and which ones aren't.